What's up guys and welcome to yet another FIFA 19 icon review. Uh, today we're taking a look at the baby version of Fernando Hierro, uh, the Spanish in Real Madrid icon. And you see it's his baby version, 86 overall. They did release his prime set already, um, so I'm sorry, you know, I didn't really get a Fernando Hierro video out. Uh, before that Prime version was expired, so maybe you guys wanted to buy him. If you did, let me know how that Prime version is. Uh, but like I, like I said, we're today we're going to be taking a look at the baby version. And, and I hope you checked out that Shevchenko video. That is who I have him paired with in this team. Uh, for the Weekend League that I played, I think it was a couple weeks ago, to be honest. I haven't been playing as much Weekend League. I don't want myself to get burned out, but I've been grinding those icons uh, and when I do play the weekend league so i've been having throwing them in into different teams um and stuff like that you guys see his face card stats now 75 pace which is awesome for a center back 65 shooting 73 passing 71 dribble 87 defense and 82 physically six foot two so he's a good size center back which you always like medium high work rates more defensive minded three-star weak foot and two-star skill moves of course you're never going to expect a center back to have skill moves the three-star weak foot is not bad uh four-star obviously is ideal um but you know he plays pretty well for the uh for the most part with the ball at his feet you see there six games played didn't score any goals didn't have any assists but hero is a guy that can score goals especially on corners I mean, to be honest, if I had all the coins in the world, I think Hero might be, you know, one of my center backs um, because I like corners and corner set pieces. This guy, um, that that's what he'll dominate on. I don't really have clips to show that, but in past FIFA's when I played with Hero, that is what he's shown me. So we're looking at the in-game stats now. You see there, 75 acceleration, 75 sprint speed, uh, 79 shot power, which isn't bad as well. 87 short pass, 86 long pass, which I think is huge. Being able to pass, you know, to the wing backs or the, the full backs and of course your other center back partner is awesome and you can pass it long that works as well too 80 balance 84 reactions uh, 78 composure 87 interceptions 89 heading accuracy 87 marking 88 stand tackle 79 sliding tackle he has 92 jumping as well 85 strength strong card and really guys like i said he's very good in the air as you're going to see he uses his head quite a bit um, and if you play against a guy who doesn't play it safe, doesn't play it short, and from a goalkeeper kick, bombed it down the field, if you have Hierro, even against some of the taller strikers, he's going to be able to jump over them you know, and try to regain your possession, which is awesome. A lot of the clips you'll see here, guys, are really where he's intercepting or tackling balls. Like I said, didn't really have any clips off of corners with him. Uh, I really did try to get him included, but... Um, you know, with the, these guys, Shevchenko and Hierro, I didn't really have as much success in the weekend league as you know some of the icon reviews I've done um, beforehand. Now, let's get into the highlights and the uh, pros and cons. Of course, the highlights have already been going, but the specific pros and cons for Hierro. The first one I've already talked about a little bit is his jumping. A 92 jumping rating, guys. He's great in the air on corners. Great um, in the air with uh, balls you need to get out of the air, of course. And you know, Hierro. Um, is, is someone on the back line that, you know, when I had him back there, I felt pretty comfortable. Um, and I'll talk about his cons and what I don't like about him in a second. The second one is his pace. 75 pace is very nice for a center back. Most baby versions for uh, defending cards are usually faster than the older ones because, uh, for the most part, prime and uh, the middle cards are near the end of their career or maybe in their prime. The baby cards are when they're young and still got a little bit of fresh legs. So that's why Piero does have quite a bit of pace in this baby card. Uh, my third pro is his tackling. Very nice standing tackle, sliding tackle ratings, uh, both in the mid to high 80s. Um, and for me, guys, he did really well with his strength as well as knocking players off the ball, as you see there. I do have two cons, guys. The first one is his dribbling. Um, he's, he's Not that he's bad on the ball, it's just his ratings aren't that great for dribbling. I like my center backs to have really good passing and really good dribbling ratings just so I can control possession um, and be comfortable back there on the back line. And my second con um, is his price, guys. If you're going to spend 650 to 700k, which is what the, the icons are going for right now, maybe they're dropping a little bit, but I'm always going to spend that amount of coins on an attacker, and I will never spend that amount of coins on a defender unless it's just like my favorite player of all time, which... You know, really, Roberto Carlos would be the only one that qualifies for that on the back line. You see his stats down below, which are important to note. Six games played, 92 pass completion percentage, so good passing. A 68% tackles, one percentage, which isn't terrible. He did only allow .83 goals against um, a game. The games that I played with these teams were low scoring. That's why there weren't a ton of highlights for Shevchenko as well. And you see there, guys, I've given him a 9.1 out of 10. Uh, for me, guys, this card was nice, but like I said, it's kind of hard to spend that kind of coin unless you just have an absolute uh, ton of coins on a defender. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit longer, um, but I did want to give you lots of information on this card. Thank you for your support, guys, and until next time, I will talk to you later.